this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna look at how to create 3D glassy objects. It is so awesome! Then, after that, we're gonna show you how to do the classic 360 degree fade to white effect, which is called a vignette. And then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go to my t-shirt store, and I'm gonna show you how you can take everything that you create in Photoshop Elements and use a high definition printer to place it on a t-shirt maybe give it as a gift you are going to absolutely love my next photoshop elements tutorial Alright, we've got Photoshop Elements 11 open up. This will work fine for PE 10 and PE 12. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new file. We're going to go to File, New, and Blank File. Okay, and look, for the t-shirt thing, you want the dimensions for your t-shirt to be 14 width and 16 height. But the techniques I'm going to show you will work for anything! Okay, and also we want it to be transparent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and select the Rectangle tool. And I'm going to change it to the Custom Shape tool. And we're just going to look for, I don't know, maybe like, uh, I don't know, like a heart. Right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the Color Picker here. And we're going to select like a nice uh, light pink color. Okay, now I'm going to hold the shift key down so when I draw my heart, it's not distorted. Now we go to layer, layer style, and style settings. And I'm going to click on glow, and inner glow, and I just clicked on the color swatch there, and I'm going to select the light, a, even a lighter pink than the pink we already have. All right, now I'm going to change the size to about uh, 250. Look at that! Kind of looking 3D, but we're not done yet. Now I'm changing opacity to about 97%. I'm going to click OK. All right, now we're going to go over to uh, the color picker, and we want to get black underneath, because we want black for the color of the new file we're opening up. File, new, blank file. Now for this effect, it has to be perfectly square. So I'm going to change the height back to 14. So we got 14 by 14. There it is. Why does it look bigger if it's smaller? Well, that's because the uh, magnification is 12.5 there and 16.67 here. So, all right. All right, let's go to filter, render, and lens flare. Yeah. And we're going to click. Everything's okay. Just click okay. I love lens flares! Okay, now we're going to filter, distort, and polar coordinates. We're going to change this from polar to rectangular and click OK. Boom! Much better. Alright, now we're going to image, rotate, and flip vertical. Okay, and we're going to go back to filter distort and polar coordinates and this time we're going to select rectangular to polar and click OK. Look at that! A black bowling ball! Now we're going to select the eraser tool and the magic eraser tool. Tolerance about 15 is fine. I'm going to left click and release and BAM! The background is gone. Which is what I want. Grabbing the move tool and I'm going to left click, hold and drag the big black bowling ball over to the heart. Let's resize it so it's about the same as the heart now. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this from normal to screen. And you can start to see some of the highlights of the bowling ball on the heart. That's what I want. See that flare on the top on the left side of the heart? We're going to make it look better. Hang in there, guys. Now I'm selecting the heart. I just... Uh, hit command and click at the same time, PC, control and click, and we get the marching ants around the heart. Here's a cool tip here. 
So we make the heart invisible. Now the marching ants are around the bowling ball in the exact shape we need the bowling ball to be. Now I'm going to select inverse. So everything but the heart is selected. So I can hit delete on my keyboard and look at that. All right, just made the heart visible again. Still gonna get better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to collect, uh, select duplicate layer and look at that. It looks just like a glass heart. I'm gonna turn the opacity down to 72% on one of the layers. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select the text tool. And I like this script text here for, you know, uh, I think it looks really nice. And Ed Edwardian script ITC. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna ch change this to 72 points and we're just gonna type, uh, I don't know, like Tammy, I love you, Shane. Okay. We're gonna hold the shift key down, select them all, and select merge players. Now we can just left click, hold, and drag it over. Kind of a cool effect um, if you wanna personalize something for somebody you know as a gift. Okay. All right, now I've got another really cool effect you're gonna like. Well, you can actually do something like this too. I'm gonna show you this first. I will resize that and put that here. Um, merge all the layers together and then we're gonna left click, hold and drag it over. You know, you can do, you know, something like this. But the idea is working with transparencies really makes things looking cool on t-shirts. Now we're going to do a classic effect with an image, which is the 360 degree fade to white or called a vignette. So the first thing we'll do with your image is you want to select a new layer that's got a white background just to make sure that everything's going to work fine when we create our vignette. Now we're just going to left click, hold and drag the image over and you can use this with any image. Now we're at 12, uh, 14 by 16 inches so it's going to be real small but that's okay, I just crop it and change it back to 100%. All right, we're gonna select the elliptical marquee tool, and I'm gonna draw an elliptical marquee. Can okay, you see the marching ants? There they are. You can move it around. Okay, so you get what you want. Now we're going to select an inverse, so it selects everything but inside the circle, because we wanna hit delete eventually. Now we're gonna go to select and feather, and we're gonna do like 45 pixels. Go crazy! Alright, now we're just going to hit delete on the keyboard. Look at that! Now that's just a classic vignette. But if you're using um, something that you want to put on a t-shirt, when you fade to white, let me show you how cool that's going to look. Resize this. Look at that! It looks so awesome! Now there's a lot of things you can do. For example, you can take a picture of your kid, put on a t-shirt. You can take a picture of your kid's favorite pet and put on a t-shirt. Let's show you the entire process. So, basically, this is a high definition printer that can take like a PNG image and print it directly onto the fabric. Okay, after it's printed on the fabric, it's then, we then use a, a heat press to seal the image. And look at how good that looks. Very nice quality. So, what you can do to get this done to go to my store is just type in infopuppet.myshopify.com. And this is my store. And you know, I have some Info Puppet t-shirts for sale too, with the I with the Info Puppet logo. There, there's one. But if you want to do what we've been talking about, you click on place your graphic here. And then you select the size of the t-shirt you want and the color that you want. Only white and gray. This 
This type of technology doesn't actually use white ink, so you have to use a light colored t-shirt. Then you just click on add to cart. But wait, there's something really important I gotta show you about this. Okay, but the really important thing I gotta show you is go back to my homepage and again, um, click on upload image here. Gotta do that. There's the uh, directions if you want what I just told you. It's printed out on the website. And then this will open up. And I am really sorry, but to keep the order straight, we're gonna have to ask for your name and address once again, even after you fill out it again on the checkout. But here's uh, what's really important here, down at this part. First thing that you can do is select upload file. And you just find the file that you want to upload, that you want us to print on the t-shirt. It's kind of cool because you can create anything in Photoshop Elements and we can put it on a t-shirt. Use the vignette or use transparencies for it to come out really nice. So there it is. And, um, you know, I'm going to just type in a brief description, forest with sun rays. And then it's really important, click on send now. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please click on subscribe. Thank you again from Info Puppet.